Hello everybody out there in YouTube land, it's Bones here again with another AliExpress Lego model review. This is the Simbo Block WMZ551H or JH. I have no clue what that says. Um, the description on AliExpress called this the Armored Ambulance. It's from their Iron Blood Heavy Equipment series. It is for ages 6 plus. It is set number 105561. And it is a little bit more than 308 pieces. We've got a nice full color, easy to understand direction book. All the bags with this set were numbered. We got a nice decal sheet here. I haven't taken it out of the book because I don't want to damage the page. There's the back of the book. couple other sets in the series now this particular set was 18 bucks moving on to the tray of goodies here go ahead and set that off to the side alright we got some nice I guess you could say four sided print minifigures because the arms are printed um, looks like in an American or British style of multicam. Come on, focus. We got some spare parts here. We got a spare hand down there, some spare lights. Pretty generic piece of body armor right here. We got a not so generic, kind of uncommon set right here. Came with a little toolbox, which is a nice little touch. Nice molding on that, too. It's a little three stud uh, brick. This, I'm not quite sure what they had in mind for it, because this clip piece doesn't hook on to anything except for this. It's not an actual fire extinguisher. So, uh, I just don't know about that one. Maybe a little blood bottle or a plasma bottle or something. I don't know. And then we got the stretcher here. And it could have been a little bit better. Maybe had some way of having some studs for the minifigure to attach to. But all in all not bad it does have a decal on the decal sheet for it moving on to the brick arm splines as you've seen the night vision goggles alright we got an M4 carbine and a Chris Vector here these are some really nice molds on these brick arms That looks like a G36 carbine. I'm not quite sure. And I have no clue what that is on the bottom. 
never seen a rifle like that before and there's a couple of different things it could be but all in all some really nice molds again no defects or nothing like that we got the accessory spline here we got a little ice pack a stethoscope thermometer syringe little doohickey the doctor uses to look inside your nose throat eyes and ears clipboard which does have a decal on the decal sheet not quite sure what that is or that uh, that's a pen um, not quite sure what that is either But yeah, really nice molds on these two. Alright, we got a disassembly tool. It works. Right. Not much to say about that. And we got a little accessory cart. There is a decal that comes for the top of this. to the main model these are printed pieces on the side they do open I got the other side open we got another rear hatch back here some tail lights We got what looks like a gun. Um, never heard of armored ambulances with guns on them, but hey, combat zone, I can see it. Front flaps do open and close, but as you can see, there's nothing behind them. There's actually no room to fit a minifigure in there, so which is kind of disappointing. That could have been done a little bit better for inside. Here you can see the two stud spots for the toolbox and whatever this thing is. And then on the other side is a single stud for the cot, the stretcher. Both sides are printed the same. We got some nice rubber tires. Now, I've never actually seen one of these in real life, so I can't tell you how accurate to the real thing it is. Looks good. I mean, it does what it says it's good it, it does uh, I guess you could say um, I kinda thought it was gonna be a little bit bigger kind of about the same size as the M38 armor personnel carrier that I did a while back but yeah, yeah that was just me with high expectations but for the price and the parts count I mean, the minifigures, the brick arms, yeah, and it, it's well worth the price. We got some mirrors here. The only part that I see that's being any kind of flimsy is this piece right here. Because, and ain't, but just. that in the back and then a couple of uh, flats holding it to some wall pieces there I have not done a drop test on this so I could not tell you but all in all I mean it's a nice set it looks exactly like they did in the picture when I ordered it so 
no real complaints got good playability to it nice little touch with the gun on top I uh, will be using pretty much most if not all the decals on the decal sheet for this main model piece I just don't like doing any of that stuff until after I make the videos in case I want to change something. So, But yeah, that's pretty much all I've got on it. Uh, if you've stuck with me this long and you liked what you see, please hit that thumbs up button below. you want to see more of these videos, please hit that subscribe button and then jump over to my channel and check out my review playlist. Um... Any comments, leave them below. Any uh, set suggestions, no Lego clones, please. Nothing that infringes upon Lego's licensings and stuff like that. Only original sets like this. Uh, go ahead and leave them in the comment section below. Um, yeah. Until then... I am Bones, you are whoever you are, and I am out of here.